Let's start. Today we will see how to implement the multi time frame moving average in the trading view pine script this is the indicator function with name multi time frame moving average the overlay attribute is set to true which means this indicator would overlay the bar chart then we call the time frame function to accept the higher time frame input from the user the default value is daily then we accept the user input for the length of the moving average then we calculate the current time frame simple moving average. Then we call the security function to calculate the higher time frame moving average. Here the first argument is the ticker id, which means the current stock name. The second argument is the higher time frame. The third argument is the current moving average. We have written bracket 1 in front of the current time moving average. This solves the indicator repainting issue. The fourth argument handles the gaps. The fifth argument fetches the higher time frame data and handles the repainting issue. Finally, we plot the higher time frame moving average. Let's add this indicator to the chart. As you can see, this is the input panel. The current time frame is daily, so I will choose weekly as the higher time frame. Now the indicator is showing the weekly moving average on the daily time frame. You may replay the indicator to check if the indicator repaints or not. So that's it. That's how you can implement the multi-time frame moving average in the TradingView Pine script. Thank you.